Hi, my beautiful Pisces. This is Gina with Aries Goddess Tarot, and this is your monthly reading for the month of September 2019. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're one of my subscribers, thank you. I love you. Welcome back. Uh, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check out the readings for your um, your moon sign and your rising sign as well. And if you don't know what those are, there is a link in the description of this video where you can go get your whole birth chart for free. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And um, also... In the description of this video is the link to my website where you can uh, get a private reading with me, more one-on-one -on -one personal reading. Um, also, if you subscribe to my monthly newsletter, you enter to win a free reading with me. All right. So let's start with the Ascended Masters Oracle deck. And let's see what the message from the Ascended Masters is for the month of September 2019 for Pisces. It will set the tone for the rest of the reading. All right. And we got Open Your Heart to Love with Jesus, the Lamb of God, who is holding the lamb and has feeding a lamb, and has all kinds of animals around him, a lion, a bear, it's like a coyote. Jesus is love. Open your heart to love. And not just love of others, love of yourself. Um, a lot of people right now with the... Um, stars the way they are and the planets they the way they are um uh, there's been a lot of emotional stuff going on um inside of a lot of people me included so um it's it's a time to really go within and look at your you know love yourself don't compare yourself to others you know and when you meet people or there's people in your life um, and they don't like you for who you are, then maybe you don't need them there. All right, we're going to start with the tarot. These are the mythical goddess tarot cards. And the first tarot card you got is the six in the major arcana, the ecstatic union with Shakti. And this is also the lover's card in the uh, traditional tarot. So we got open your heart to love and then the lover's card. And in this deck, it is um, really more about your relationship with spirit. See how all her chakras are in alignment there and she's sitting in a yoga pose um, so it really is about your relationship with spirit or Jesus or whoever, but with the spirit realm, um, keep yourself aligned, grounded, and, you know, it could be a ecstatic union with another person maybe you're already in a relationship and it's you're ready to go to the next step all right next we got the child of earth design okay he's got an acorn in his hand there and what's an acorn it's a seed for an oak tree so uh what's your idea Look at one small idea, like the size of an acorn, and think about how you can grow that idea. <clears throat> so, the child is always a symbol of, um, you know, the beginning. But children also have a, uh, they don't 
they don't care what other people think. They just do. So, go with your idea. <laughs> just do it. Alright, if that has to do with love, loving someone, loving yourself, go for it. Alright, next we got the sun. The number 19 is a major arcano with Amaterasu, a beautiful, gorgeous sun goddess. Alright, and the sun is shining on you. This is an awesome card. The sun is shining on you with blessings and love. You are just all full of love this month, Pisces. Alright, then we've got the Eight of Fire expression. And this is uh, really a symbol of expressing yourself artistically. Now, artistically is a very... Um, <laughs> it's a term that can be used for any anything when it comes to art. It could be drawing, painting... It could also be dancing, music, theater. There's so many different forms of art. So, and she's got her heart chakra open here. So, do what you love. Do what you love. Um, that's another, you know, just be yourself. Seems to really be the message of this. Be yourself and... You love who you love, and don't be ashamed of it. Because then we've got the Maiden of Seas, the Passion card, with her holding the Passion Flower above her head, and all the water pouring out of her heart chakra. Follow your passion, follow your heart. This is a really good month for you, Pisces. Follow your passion. <laughs> All right. We're going to get one card here from the uh, Archangel Oracle deck. So let's see what the Archangels want to tell Pisces for the month of September 2019. This is getting very, very, very interesting, Pisces. All right. We have got... is very appropriate right now. Moon Cycles. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. I can tell you the new moon affects me in one way and the full moon affects me in another way. And it's different for everyone. Um, so notice how the moon cycles... Like, we just had a new moon on August 29th or 30th, and then the full moon is on Friday the 13th in September. Um, so notice, pay attention. Um, how, how were you feeling for the new moon? And pay attention for the full moon coming up and see, see how your, your emotions are different, your thoughts are different. Um, I know I get more energized by, by the full moon. Um, I have a hard time sleeping a lot of times during a full moon because I'm just so go, go, go. And a lot of times during a new moon, I'm just like tired and drained and I'll still be thinking, but I really won't have a hard time sleeping because I just get so tired. So... I can almost always tell you what part of the month it is, whether it's near a full moon or a new moon. All right. We're going to get one card here from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck. And Archangel Michael's message for you for this month says, Lean on God and the angels for support. My prayer Dear God and angels, 
I give you this situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Wow, what you got going on, Pisces? Whatever it is, open your heart to love and let God and the angels help you with whatever you're going through. Whether it's spiritual, physical, financial, because love, love of spirit, your connection to spirit, your, your spiritual connection to um, a lover or maybe even a friend or a child, but it's a spiritual connection. And you've got an idea. You've got an idea deep down in you. Okay, and right now it's just a seed, but it can grow because you've got the sun to help it grow, to help you bring those blessings. Is it an artistic idea? Okay, express yourself through art or just be yourself. Expression, just be yourself. All right, and follow your passion follow your passion is your passion even okay this just came to me cosmetology hairdressing something like that that's also a form of artistic expression and i have a couple friends that are awesome awesome hairdressers and it's definitely a wonderful form of expression and i tell you what they are both beautiful gardeners at the same time they just have that taste of beauty and that knowing, <laughs> I guess. And pay attention to the moon, all right? Pay attention to your moon. And let God help you. Let the angels help you. Open your heart to love, okay? Pray, meditate, whatever you do. But... Open your heart to all the love that's waiting for you. Okay, you've got three cards specifically about love. And this one's kind of specific about love, too, because it's love yourself. And be yourself. Just be yourself. All right, well, I hope this message resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, go uh, check out the link to my uh, website in the description of this video because um, you can go sign up for my uh, monthly newsletter and you will have a chance to win a free reading with me. Check out my readings as well if you'd like to just get a personal reading from me. All right. Thank you for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next video.